Doug. And I'm Kathy. And, and this, this is, is Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we want to show you around a great RV park, Briarcliff RV Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This is actually just about on the border between Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach. So it is on the north end of Myrtle Beach. But uh, this is a, a park that there's a number of ways you can stay here very affordably. We'll share those with you here at the end of the video, so be sure and stick around for that. But sit back and enjoy the park. Thanks. Now here we are on 17, which is one of the main drags through Myrtle Beach, and we're heading south out of North Myrtle Beach. We're just passing Barefoot Landing here. That gives you some bearings of where we are. And this is what the park looks like. The yellow spaces are open for all of us coming in there for short periods of time. The blue spaces are for the longer term. It's very easy park to find, very easy in. You'll see a turn lane coming up here, which we'll take. And this is what you're greeted by at the park. Now, when you come in with your rig, you'll want to, where the office sits there, there's three lanes for you to park in, and then there's a special gate there at the end to go in with your rig. This is where you'll go in every other time, is the main entrance gate. And you're given a security card you just tap the security card and the gates open. Now we were here the very end of October and they're still working on their landscape. This is a, a year round park and they really do things up right here. Now this is a little park area that has a little chapel on it. And we'll go just past that chapel and this green sign is for the dog park. Dog park is all mulched. That was different than we've come across. We are very much, but it was kept nice and clean. And just past the dog park behind the uh, privacy fence is storage. Now you'll see a parking area here. A lot of the larger trucks are parked in. Right behind them is a loop of camping spaces. We saw those spaces almost empty and we saw them completely filled. Uh-huh. While we were here, we were here for 12 days, there were two different um, groups that had come in, uh, and there was a third group coming in the week after we left. So they have tour groups coming through here all the time. Now we're actually going now away from the road, up the far side of the park, And over here on the right are their cabins. They have a whole row of those rentals. In front of us is one of the laundry areas and bath houses. If you go in the front, you come to the laundry area. It was two dollars for a wash and one dollar for a dry. It's about as reasonable as I've seen anywhere. Yeah. All by quarters. And it was clean. Very. At the back of the building goes into the restrooms and bathhouses. And again, spotlessly clean. The bench made out of the ceramic tile, glass shower doors, everything top notch. And there's a couple of those bathhouses throughout the park. 
Now we're still continuing towards the back. We're in the back half of the park now. And as we go down through here, on the right hand side, you'll see a sign that says barefoot landing entrance. You use your little gate key and it takes you in and out of a gate there that lets you walk right over into barefoot landing. So you don't even have to bother looking for a parking space. If you're not familiar with barefoot landing, we've got more about it in our Myrtle Beach video. Now here we're coming to the very back edge of the park and the park at the back is bordered by water. I believe that is actually part of the intercoastal waterway. I, I, yes, it is. Now part of these spaces along the back are permanent annual sites, but there are a group of them back here that are uh, open for regular RVers. As you're coming to the far back corner, you'll come across this building, and this is their clubhouse. The clubhouse, when you go in the, the front door, there's a library there to the left, a little meeting room there to the right. We're going to go down the hallway. And down that hallway is another little meeting room that has the kitchen off of it. And if we go further down that hallway, you come to their auditorium. And just spotless. Yeah. Just like everything they did was just so so clean and spotless. And a stage up at the front. There's also a game room with ping pong and a few video games. And a great fitness room. One of the nicest, most well-stocked fitness rooms I've seen. Be great for the winter when they uh, can't be out. That's right. For the weather. When you come to the very back edge of the property, you'll make a right And this will bring you back to the water. And now the water has seating area, picnic area back there by it. It has docks and it has a boat ramp. So this area does get used quite a bit. And there you can see the back of some of the RVs with their waterfront views. And as we go to turn, behind that clubhouse is their pool. And it is a beautiful it pool. It is, yes. Now there are dumpsters and recycle bins back here at the back as well as in the opposite front corner. There's full court for basketball. And as we come back here, we'll make a right and come back up towards the front of the park. But from that full court basketball, the next thing we'll see on the right is their playground area. Then they have a grill area with campfires, with horseshoes, with shuffleboard. This has got some great amenities. This was one of the nicest miniature golfs I think we've ever seen. Just up past that shuffleboard area, you'll come to the miniature golf. It's an 18 hole. And that white area is a raised seating area. So if parents want to sit there and let the kids play where they could got a good view of what's going on, or if you just want to be a spectator. And there was more water back there mm -hmm. with ducks. Mm -hmm. And a doggy station. That's right. Now we're coming back up towards the front of the park. And the entrance gates that we came in, 
as we're going up this way, those will be the gates on the left. The gates on the right are where you'll exit. And we're going to go back across the front because I want to drive you down through a couple of the rows and let you see what the sites look like. They do have a 12 mile an hour speed limit throughout the park. And they are out working in this park all the time. And it was filled mm -hmm. most of the time. You'd see people come and go, but they were very um, busy. One other thing I wanted to mention in this too, I checked in with the office that you are allowed to have packages sent here. There is no charge for it. We had Maggie's food restocked while we were here. And uh, it's it's nice to know places that are, are friendly towards full timers as far as being able to receive packages. There's another one of their laundry and bathhouse areas there on the left. And the front half of the park is that long right there. So it is a nice sized park, but it's not overly huge. It's nice to walk through. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming back on, on this road. This is where we're parked and we'll take you a tour of, of our site. And our site I think was very typical. Yeah. Every site in there is a full hookup, 30 amp, 50 amp and concrete pad. So this was our campsite. We had a tree on both sides of our coach, but plenty of, of room in between. The back half where the picnic table was stayed a little shadier, so we brought our chairs out towards the front. <laughs> and the hookups are all very nice, modern hookups and very close runs. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy, what did you think of Briarcliff RV Resort? I think it's a very comfortable park to stay in. We've got a little bit of everything around us and if you just want to hang out and enjoy the people and there's been lots of gatherings and stuff around us, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It really has been and it's a great location. Uh, if you haven't seen our Myrtle Beach video yet, be sure and uh, click on the link for that here because It'll show you what Barefoot Landing is. You've got a gateway from the park directly over there. So if you want to just stay within the confines of the park or walking distance, there's tons of stuff to do. And it's just a short drive to, to everything that is in Myrtle Beach. Uh, now, we told you there was going to be ways that you can do this park very affordably. And we put a post on our blog site, which is followthemoon.us. US and on that blog site it compares how you can stay here either at full price or with your good sam discount which will save you 10 percent your passport america which will save you 50 percent or with coast to coast which we stayed here for ten dollars a night plus three dollars a night for resort fee and we upgraded an extra five dollars a night for 50 amp service, which as cool as it's been, we wouldn't have had to. But still at that, at $18 a night for a resort like this, it was definitely a bargain. Yes. And if a bargain like that sounds good to you, be sure to give Philip a call. He represents Coast to Coast memberships and he can get you into a Coast to Coast membership less expensive today and less expensive each year to come than just about anybody else out there. Let him know that Doug and Kathy from Follow the Moon sent you and he does help us out with a small commission back which helps keep the lights on with our, our channel. That's right. And if you enjoyed the video today, please leave us a thumbs up. We do appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and ring that notification bell and that way you will not miss any videos when they come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out.
Don't forget to follow us on social media too.